The show has just begun. The most cherished event of my school, the Aspam Fest. My friends have worked in groups and made presentations on the topic UAE, a multicultural city. We have just not made presentations, but we've tried to interview them with some of our core subjects. This is our stepping stone towards being the leaders of our own learning. Let us first invite Team English who are ready with the puppet show. Once upon a time, there were three friends named Maria, Shunaya, and Eva. They came to United Arab Emirates for taking admission in Maria's college. They didn't have houses to live as they were single, so they thought of living in Maria's house for a few days. Maria was from United Arab Emirates, Shunaya was from India, and Eva was from England. So one day, the three friends were getting ready to go to the college. They all wore different dresses. Shania wore her dress and she came from the restroom. Eva saw her and said, OMG, Shania, what dress are you wearing? In your world is so full and so uncomfortable to see. Come, take this back. There are some beautiful dresses which look pretty on you. Shania said, Oh, this is nothing but a chudar. Eva said, what? This is nothing. This is so weird. How do you wear that? Shania said. Eva, stop being so rude. At least my clothes are better than your clothes. Anyways, what is that weird colorful towel that thing you on your dress, Shania? Eva, stop it. That's not a towel. That's a part of my dress, which gives me a beautiful look. Now Eva said. Shania, I like wearing this dress clothes. Okay, and this clothes you won't even suit at you because you're too dark. Shiva, when did I tell you I want to wear dresses like you? Why wow, you are the one who's forcing me to wear it? You must say. Shania, I just want you to look beautiful because if I take you outside with me, then people will laugh at you. <laughs> Shania said. Eva, stop it and let them laugh. I don't have any problem. And stop it right on. Oh, you're so rude. started fighting. After a while, Maria came and she was confused. What is happening? So she went and asked Shania. What is happening? And Shinaya said. Oh Maria, see, this Eva is telling bad about me. To me. Tell her. Then Eva said. Stop it. I'm not telling bad things. I'm telling for your good, Shinaya. After Eva tells everything, Maria gets disappointed that they both are fighting and then tells, guys, stop it right now. And listen to me. Eva, see you started this fight, so I'm telling you, and I'm going to tell Shania also. Eva, you should not judge people on their looks, how they look, what they wear. You should look at their nature, how good they are, and how nicely they speak. Do you understand? Um, yes, I do understand, Maria, and I'm really very sorry. I will never judge people. I'm sorry, Maria, and I'm also sorry, Shania. I will never say bad things about you. It's good that you understood and I forgive you and even I'm sorry because even I said some bad things to you. It's okay Shania. Okay bye. We'll see you. It's time for college. Yeah, let's... Oh yeah. Okay. Bye. That was fantastic, Tani, Viruga, and Movila. Thank you for Zara, ma'am, for your support. Now, next, let us see how the same topic has been integrated to maths. Good morning, everybody, and I hope you are all excited like us about this virtual Aspen Fest. 
As a part of this activity, our team would be presenting mathematics as a perspective in multicultural cities. In this video, we will be focusing on elementary shapes. Elementary shapes are the fundamental shapes made up of lines and curves. And what are multicultural cities? A multicultural city is a place where different races, cultures and lifestyles flourish as of right. Their differences are recognized and accommodated into shared citizenship. The multicultural city we selected for this project, project is Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is the capital and the second most populous city of the United Arab Emirates after Dubai. As of 2020, Abu Dhabi's urban areas had an estimated population of 1.48 million. I will be referring to the Lua Museum for our research work. I choose the Lua Museum in Abu Dhabi as it can be connected to the title of our asking fest, Libre Como Arti, which means as free as art. The Lua Museum is an art and civilization museum located in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. The museum is located on the Sadiyan Island Cultural District. It is the largest art museum in Arabian Peninsula. I can see that this spectacular museum is made up of many elementary shapes, especially on its roof. It has many squares, triangles, rectangles, rhombus, parallelograms, and octagons. Now I will be referring to the Manipuri dance, also known as Jagoi, is one of the ma major Indian classical dance forms named after the region of its origin, Manipuri, Manipur, a state in northeastern India bordering with Myanmar, Assam, Nagaland, and Mizoram. This dance is practiced in its nearby states and countries. Manipuri dance, Manipuri elements, shapes, circles, triangles, rhombus, and rectangles. Thank you. Our activity proves that multicultural cities do contain elementary shapes. Hoping that you all enjoyed watching this activity. Thank you for the information, Moshe and Hasna. Thank you, Sajita ma'am, for the help. May I now call Sher Banu and Dumesa to give us more insight on the multicultural aspect of UAE. But be careful, this presentation is going to be in Arabic. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنا اسمي شهر بانو منصف ستة ألف جزيرة الألم جزيرة الألم في الشارقة دولة الإمارات الأربية المتحدة تقع بكابل ممتوغة الكورنيش تقع بسارية الألم شامخة عنوان للإز والمز والفقر هذا هو مشاره الجزيرة الألم كيف تفز على سلامتك أتانا السفر حافظا على المسافة ستة عدم واثنين مطار بيكنا وبيان الخير انتجع أننا الأمة الأيناني ولن والفم دايما ارتداء الأنك قبل الخروج هذا هو مشارع الجزيرة الألم شكرا مع السلامة السلام عليكم اسمي رميزة أنا في الصف السادس ألف اليوم بالنسبة لهذا الحدث الخوش سأشير لك نموذجي هذا هو نموذجي هو إطار دبي لقد صنعت هذا المشروع بنفسي لقد صنعت أيضا حديقة بجانب إطار دبي يوجد في الحديقة أشخاص يدخلون إطار دبي الحديقة مزينة بالبرود لقد صنعت إطار دبي هو الورق الموكي رسمت إطار دبي بدلة زهبي كما أنني رسمت بعض التساميم على إطار دبي يقع برواز دبي 
بالقرب من بوابة النجوم الموقع الطرى فيه الشكي في حديقة زعبي وهو عبارة من برواز أو إطار متكامل يبرز مع معالم الإمارات بشكل فريد ويل ويبلغ ارتفاع الصلعين الصلعين مع وخمسون مترا وارض ثلاثة وتسعون مترا لشكل الفراغ القائم بين الصلعين صورة جميلة لمدينة دبي وأصحى وأصحى المعالم من علو الشاحك بحيث ينقل من جهة معالم ومباني ومباني شارع الشيخ زايد لترمز إلى مدينة دبي الحديثة فيما تضم الجهة الثانية من البرواز معالم لمناطق ديرة التي ترمز إلى دبي القديمة شكرا لكم مع السلامة إلى اللقاء That was wonderful Kudos to the team Thank you so much Naima Ma'am I am very glad to present the science team next as they also have linked the topic with their core subject as not all shadows are black Let us have a look at them. Good morning all. My name is Shreya Suresh and today me and my friends Divisha and Arna are going to talk about color shadows. Now you will be thinking that how are these color shadows formed? So I have my friend Divisha to explain how are these color shadows formed and her model. My name is Divisha Ramamurthy and today I'm going to explain my project, The Colored Shadows. So, uh, this experiment proves that all shadows are not black. When, um, when all the lights um, together, it, uh, it, it shines on the same spot, on a white spot, the light that is reflecting to your eyes from that spot is known as an additive mixture. And that is because it's a sum of all the lights. Before we start our experiment, I would like to say the things that are needed for it. First is the white pole. Second is an adapter. Third is lights that are uh, three bulbs and that are red, green, blue. And remember while placing the um, bulbs, they should be in the order of red first, then the green and then the blue. So, I think we can start the experiment. So let's on the bulbs. Blue, then green, and then red. Okay. So uh, to understand the colored shadows or the objectives of the colored shadows are three. And the first one is all shadows are not black. So when we add, uh, when we have only one light and its object, uh, it is uh, blocked by an object, uh, it becomes a black shadow. But and we might be thinking there is only black shadow but when we add all these three lights here's the shadow and it is colorful first is red and then magenta and then blue in the middle there might be black so go, let's go to the next one next one is light travels in straight lines as we all must have learned light travels in straight lines so light is traveling in straight line and my object just blocks it. That's why a shadow has appeared here. And the third one. A shadow is formed when an object object blocks the light. Yes, I just told you. This is an object object. And it blocks the three lights. And because of that, a shadow is formed. And as I told you, you must have understood the colored sh shadows just because of these objectives. Thank you.
That was brilliant and interesting, Devisha. Now, I have my friend Arna to tell us more about differences between normal and color shadows and how to make these color shadows. Good morning all, my name is Arna and today I am going to be telling you a few differences between color shadows and black shadows. Number one, and this is basic, color shadows are colorful and black shadows are black. Number two, black shadows are seen every day whereas color shadows are rare. For example, if you are walking near the water and there is a street lamp behind you, you will be seeing a black shadow, not a color shadow. Number three, color shadows are multiple and black shadows are only one. For example, if you, we are making a black shadow, there will be the bulb, the object and the, and the place where the shadow appears and it will be only one. Whereas in colored shadows, there are going to be three bulbs, color, color B, color C. The object and shadows will be four. Shadow of color A, shadow of color B, then the black shadow and the shadow of color C. Thank you. Hope you all understood what are these color shadows and how are they formed. Then you'll have a great day ahead. What a beautiful concept. Thank you Divisha, Arna and Shreya. Thank you for the motivation Rupala. Talking about shadows, why don't we watch a shadow play next? Over to you Team Hindi. और आज मैं आपको यूए और एंटी बुलिंग के बारे में कुछ बताने जा रही हूँ बच्चे मन की सच्चे आँख में जो होता रे ये वो नन्हे फूल है जो सबको लगते प्यारे अरे एक मिनट ये फूल सबको बहुत प्यारे लगते हैं पर इनमें से कुछ जब काटे बन जाते हैं तो ये मासूम फूल चिन बिन कर जाते हैं और ये हमेशा एक बाये में जीते हैं और इसको हम बुलिंग कहते हैं बुलिंग को रोकने के लिए सयुद अरब एमरेट ने हबियान लिया है विद्यालय में काउंसलर होते हैं जो बच्चों की मदद के लिए तैयार होते हैं यूए सरकार बच्चों के लिए बहुत जागृत है जब आप और हम साथ हैं तो इस बुराई को जरूर होगी विनाश धन्यवाद एक सुंदर कहानी बताऊंगी एक बार दो दोस्त थे दिव्या और श्रेया एक दिन दो नैया लड़कियाँ उनके पास आई और कहा क्या हम दोस्त हो सकते हैं? बिल्कुल नहीं तुम दोनों बहुत काले हो तथा हम दोनों बहुत गोरे वह ये काली लड़की है ओह हम आपके साथ कैसे व्यवहार करते हैं जिसके लिए हम कैद हैं? क्या आप हमें प्लीज माफ कर सकते हैं? आपने देखा किसी तरह रंग रूप के भेद कर काली लड़की से कोई दोस्ती नहीं करता और उसे बहुत बुरा लगता है आज हम सब मानवता खो बैठे हैं इसलिए मानव मानव पर अत्याचार करता है आओ सब मिलकर यह प्राण करें किसी को ना तंग करें चाहे हो कोई गोरा या हो कोई काला मिलकर सारे संग रहे धन्यवाद वाओ दैट वॉज ब्रिलियंट आई एम अमेज एट वट माई फ्रेंड्स कैन डू थैंक्स टू श्रेया एंड दिवीशा वंस अगेन एंड यस टू आर टीचर रेखा मैम टू लेट दिस नो मोर अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टी कल्चराइजेशन we have a presentation by the social studies team a pleasant good morning to one and all present class my name is aisha azar and today i will be a guide host to the journey 
Well, the topic for our ASFAM Fest is Multiculturalism in UAE. So let's start, shall we? Now we say that UAE is multicultural, but is there a reason? Yes, of course. It is said to because the country follows a wide variety of cultures, traditions and religions. We visit and settlements from almost 200 nationalities across the world, of course. UAE has adopted almost all cultures, traditions and religions. Examples, nationalities such as US, Chinese, Japanese and etc. have settled in the country. Religions such as Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Jews and etc. live peacefully as one big family. Traditions and festivals such as Christmas and national days of other countries are celebrated by a second homeland. Traditions and culture. So, Marathi culture is based on Arabian culture, with influences from the cultures of East Africa and Indian subcontinent. The religion of Islam has had a prominent influence on local architecture, music, attire, cuisine, which means type of food, and lifestyle. Well, how can we say that you is unique? The country's form of government is an absolute monarchy. Each emirate of the UAE is ruled by a separate Falta, but the MIO of Abu Dhabi is the country's president and head of state, while the MIO of Dubai serves as the nation's prime minister. There are no permanent rivers in UAE, of course. Population. What comes to your mind when I say population? People, of course. So, as I said before, there are over 200 nationalities living and working in the UAE. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome my friend, Darshini Pradeep Kumar. Good morning, everyone. My name is Darshini. Today, I'm going to be talking about the expat populations. Do you wonder what's expand population? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you. Expand populations is the population that other than the country UAE, which, uh, which are the other nationalities that live in it. So let's begin. Well, I'm going to be talking about these six na- nationalities. They're the main and highest nationalities in the UAE. But there are many more, you know, as my friend Aisha told it. So let's begin. Now let's start with Afghanistan. Afghanistan is having a population about about 150,000 people. Now let's talk about Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka got 6.7 percentage, Russia with 8.43, here Egypt with 10.6 and USA with 8.6 and India with 38.6 percent. That USA is with 8.6 percentage. Now I'm just gonna add two more other countries, Pakistan and Saudi Arabia. The population of over 1.5 million Pakistanis are the second largest national group in India after India, constituting 12.5 percentage of the country's total population. They are the third largest overseas Pakistani community behind the Pakistani diaspora in Saudi Arabia and the United Kingdom. The largest group of the non-UA nationals are Africa, Africa, which includes uh, 9.89 million people. With that, it includes Indians with 38.2% and Bangladeshi with 9.5, Pakistani with 9.4 and the others with 2.3. And Egyptian, Egyptians are 10.2, Filipino with 6 and the others 12.8. Wow, that was really good information. Wasn't it? Thank you so much, Dashi. Now, now we come to the grand finale, development. As you know, it has been a great change from 90s to 20s, a big development change. From souks to malls, from camels to cars. Most of the reports have ranked the UAE as one of the most developed countries in the whole world, with happy and contented citizens and other residents, as well as sustainable growth in many other fields, including economy, trade, investment, and communications. In addition, they provide information, 
technology, tourism, and infrastructure. Everybody, keep your hands ready for my friend Zoya Piros Ali. the old UAE and this is the new UAE. There is a bit more difference. So, in the old UAE, as you can see, these were how the souks looked like. Can you see? And these two had their own way of speaking, selling, talking, and just getting a profit to their business. And then, as we can see the camel. The camel should be uh, used for going from one place to another and it was filled with sand. It was this is the developed UAE. And how we used to drink water. We used to drink it from a pot and now we get water from with a from the help like from a gallon. The biggest malt. Exactly. And cars. Now we use cars instead of camels. Wow. And road, as you can see here, sand to road once again. And this is how the developed took looks like. The UAE has emerged as a key international trade hub between East and West. We have enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aisha, Darshini, and Zoya. A huge thanks to Imran and Mama as well for guiding my friends. No conversation without mul about multiculturalism will be complete without giving other nations their due respect. Let us invite Team Islamic for the presentation who are prepared with the objective of imparting universal brotherhood. Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Sharpan of Trip 6A and today on this special event I will be talking about Pakistan. Religious population of Pakistan. The majority practices Sunni Islam while 50% Shia Islam. Nearly all Pakistani Sunni Muslims belong to the Hanafi Islamic Law School and the remaining 5% practices Hinduism, Christianity, Sikhism and other religions. Pakistani culture. Pakistan culture is very diverse thanks to its history, historical, geographical and ethnic diversity. Pakistan culture is a melting pot of Indian, Persian, Afghani, Central Asia, Asian, South Asian, Western Asian influences. Facts about Pakistan The main language of Pakistan is Urdu which is very similar to Hindi. The current president of Pakistan is Imran Khan. The currency of Pakistan is also rupees. The founder of Pakistan is Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Meaning of Pakistan is a land bonding in the pure. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ramasa. I'm from grade 6A and today I'm going to be explaining to you about the culture, religion, rules and more about Iran. Iran is a Muslim country in which Islamic law is strictly enforced. You should respect local tradition, customs, laws and religions at all times and be aware of your actions to ensure that they do not offend especially during the holy month of Ramadan or if you intend to visit religious areas, it is forbidden to eat, drink or smoke in public during daylight hours during the month of Ramadan. Rules of Iran The import, sale, manufacture and consumption of alcohol in Iran is strictly forbidden on religious grounds with exceptions only for certain recognized Iranian religions minorities, not foreigners. Penalties can be severe. I'm from grade 6 a I'll be talking about the culture in Saudi Arabia. The culture of Saudi Arabia is defined with Islamic heritage, its historical role as an ancient trade center, and with our own tradition. The Saudi society has involved over the years the values and traditions from customs, hospitality, the style of dressing, and, and adapting with modern nation. The culture of Saudi Arabia is rich, one that has been shaped by the Islamic heritage, its historical role as an ancient trade center, and with our own tradition. Saudi people have taken the value and traditions and their customs, hospitality, and even their style of dress and adapted to the modern world. Thank you. Thank you, Musaib, sir, Aisha, Sherbanu, and Rumesa. Now, let us take the topic of multiculturalism a step forward. 
with our French team for the last presentation of the day. They have made us a small video telling about the different names related to food in French. There are reports that consider French as the third most important language of UAE. Let us watch what they have for us. Bonjour, je suis Romaisa, classe 6A. Aujourd'hui, Sherbano Mubina et moi, on va présenter une comparaison entre le repas français et le repas aux Émirats Arabes Unis. En France, le petit déjeuner, c'est généralement un repas au sable. On mange du pas français avec le choix des confitures de miel ou de boire à ou boisson, je commande du café ou de lait. France, piquet ou la petit déjeuner est 6 ou 7 heures du matin. Et Mira a la plus petite déjeuner, les places traditionnelles Maclova et Michel. Le petit déjeuner ou Amira a la plus, comme on prend généralement les pains service avec du fromage ou du zouf. Il prenait le petit déjeuner et jouait au neuf du matin. Le déjeuner en France. Un déjeuner typiquement français comprendra une entrée comme une salade ou une soupe. Un plat principal typiquement à choix de viande ou de poisson avec pommes de terre, riz, pâté ou légumes. Les Français prennent leur petit déjeuner à 1 ou 2 heures de l'après-midi. Le déjeuner aux Émirats Arabes Unis. Les Émirats ont différents types de nourriture, comme le harit et le samak mashfi. Le shawarma est la nourriture la plus populaire aux Émirats Arabes Unis. Ils déjeunent à 1 ou 2 heures pour le déjeuner. Le gâteau est un repas unique en France. C'est un repas très important pour les Français. Les week-ends, les Français profitent d'un gâteau à la maison. Les choux les plus populaires sont les galatis ou, ou celles de biscuits ou éclairs ou chocolat. Les Français préventent leur gâteau être 5 à 6 du soir. Le dîner en France est un repas où toute la famille se réunit ensemble. On mange la soupe de la viande ou des poulettes et on boit les boissons de saison. Les Émirats arabes unis. Pour le dîner, les Émirats ont chez le kebab, falafel, madrouba, crème polo. Ils mangent généralement leur dîner à 9 ou 10 heures de nuit. France principe dessert. Crème brûlée, profiterole, soufflé, macaron, pain au chocolat, tarte tata, mille feuilles et la crème. Les desserts aux Émirats arabes unis. Les options sucrées incluent de miel et de date. D'autres desserts comprennent le kabisa, du safrano, de la betita et du beurre clarifié. Merci. 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 That was fun. Thank you, Shabano, Mobina and Romessa. And of course, Sylvia Mam for her supervision. That brings a spectacular event towards the end. May I now call Moksha to deliver the vote of thanks. Education of what remains after one has forgotten everything he learned in school. Albert Einstein. Warm greetings to you all. I, Sri Mokshanjali, the cyber champ and the class monitor of Grade 6C, as from Indian International School Charger, stand before you to extend my heartfelt gratitude for gathering here today. My friends have surely taken a lot of effort in organizing this event 
and your presence makes us feel appreciated this is part of our education our path towards learning our way towards becoming the leaders of our own learning i take this moment to thank our dearest principal sheila ma'am for only providing us the opportunity to grow ourselves she truly enabled us to thrive our journey of education i also thank our supervisor sindhu ma'am for her constant motivation my dearest teachers thank you this time from the whole of sexy for your endless support and guidance lastly all my dear friends thank you for all the hard work this is our success we are truly unique thank you once again everyone for taking out your precious time enjoy your day once again thank you dear parents let us know about your valuable feedback this is success signing off have a safe day and a lovely weekend